Hey guys, Joe here. Sorry if it's a bit windy out. I'm in a parking lot in the middle of nowhere waiting for some prescriptions to be done and I thought I would talk to you for a quick second about my Chrysler 300. The one that you've never seen. This is a, let me back up so you can see the front, 2015, there we go, 300S with the Hemi because that's the car I really wanted when I bought the F-150 which I only had for eight months, nine months, whatever it was until I got rid of it. And that replaced the Mustang, which I had for seven years, one of the longest possession times ever. And I was going to do a whole nice video, walk around, showing you how it's the S with the sport package and the wing and the nice, nice everything, except this one has the wrong wheels on it. It's got the base model 19s, not the 20s it's supposed to have because the previous owner was in Wisconsin and probably hated potholes as much as everybody else. But anyways, I was going to do this nice long video and do some nice video about it driving by, all that good stuff. But uh, that kind of got supplanted when a Kia Sophia decided to supplant itself into the back of my car. That's, uh, that's some damage that happens when a guy runs a red light. Actually, he didn't run a red light. I was stopped at the red light, and he ran into me at full speed, uh, almost 40 miles an hour. And he hit me. Hey, look, some garbage. That's been there for like a month and a half. I think this is an old abandoned property because these steps right here go to nothing. So I think this used to be a really nice house back in the day. It's not anymore. But anyways, let's take a look at some of the damage. Let's start in the trunk. Yeah, that doesn't stay up. But as you can see, sorry, uh, this is uh, no longer attached because the floor is no longer where it's supposed to be. See that? Yeah. Over here is where the battery is. And uh, there we go. This is the fuse box, which, uh, yeah, that's no longer attached. And the battery is cattywampus and forward about an inch and a half, two inches. Additionally, the more I've looked at the car since it uh, has been, you know, not raining, I've noticed a few things. Number one, the trunk is bent. So it's bent here and up here. It no longer lines up the way it's supposed to. You can see there's a little bit of a gap there. Also, this door doesn't line up anymore. It's subtle, but this door is down probably a millimeter and a half, two millimeters. That wasn't like that when I bought it. Now that means, and I'll have to put up pictures or I'll add pictures, I don't know. When I film it this way, it doesn't always look great when I edit it, but we'll see. Uh, if, it, if it keeps audio, then I will. But uh, yeah, the guy hit me so hard that he lifted the back end of my car up. And everybody's okay, so that's the most important thing. I don't care about car. I mean, I like the car. I care about car. But I don't care because it it's a thing that can be replaced. Now, what is sad is the damage underneath. And uh, I'm going to go down there. Yep, I'm going there. And it doesn't look terrible from up here. You see, like, this reverse sensor is pushed in. And the, the, the lower balance is, you know, no longer attached the way it should be. Although, now it might vibrate a little bit less. But as you come underneath, you can see that's my exhaust system. It has Flowmaster exhaust, and the mufflers sit in front of the differential. And there's no rear resonators or mufflers or anything like that back here anymore. But as you can see, this muffler is no longer even close to where it should be, because it should be right here. And then the ovoid tip clips into there and locks in on the bumper, but all that is broken too. So yeah, this muffler is right there. And then if you look closely, right there that's part of his bumper he hit me so hard that it actually wedged and then cut a perfect circle out of the front of his bumper and wedged it into my exhaust pipe and then here's the main damage so let's see if we can get a better shot yeah there you go so that's the trunk floor all the way back here where it attaches to the back of the car this frame it's hard to tell looking at it, but it looks like it curves in just a tiny bit at the back, like the damage pulled it in that way a little bit. And then the floors collapse all the way up into the front there, where it comes up to the rear differential's uh, mounting cage, or mounting cradle, because it's a rear wheel drive, independent rear suspension out of the E-Class. So, And if I'm doing everything right-handed, it's because this hand doesn't work right now, because I have extra pain from the accident, so yay accident. But the whole floor is collapsed. That is really bad, kinked really, really bad. Uh, not sure 
but looking closely, I think the other pipe is okay, but this one is just, this one's gonzo. And it'll be a fight to get them to replace a Flowmaster exhaust since it's aftermarket. Sounds real good though. Here, let me start it for you while I'm underneath the car because yes, it has remote start. Still has good airflow. Yeah, so that's bad. The check engine light came on because when he hit me, it actually stalled the car out, but it started right back up and the light has gone off. But the other thing I'm noticing, and you can kind of see it in this picture, the wheel is a little bit canted in on this side as opposed to the other side. So my fear is that something might have gotten shoved around on the suspension as well. The only thing that stopped him probably from going farther under my car was the exhaust system catching his bumper and then the floor he literally lifted up the back of my car and shoved me forward because he was going that fast so let me stand back up which is difficult because you know i'm all broken and stuff i shaved if you couldn't tell yeah but yeah so i went through all the effort of finding a nice car in good condition for a reasonable price I paid less for this than you would a uh, mid-level Focus of its year and a lot less than like a Toyota Corolla or even a Nissan Sentra. And I got a car that was fully loaded. Looked good because it was the black. All this is black except for the roof. It needs the blackout package. And 360 horsepower, which was better than the 325 in the 2.7 that I used to have. So sit down for a second. Oh, almost fell over. So... Yay! We still have to wait for their insurance company to get back to me. I did have x-rays done on my neck because I can't sleep on my left side or even on my back right now. That's why laying on my right side is the only way I can lay down, really. Uh, the arm hurts. I can't drive. If I lift my arm up long enough to drive, uh, shooting pain. So, guess what I don't do? But other than that, yeah, it's too bad. Like I said, this is the S model. Had the really nice seats, heated leather seats, the dual pane sunroof which is closed right now. Yeah, a nice rattle from the exhaust system touching the bottom of the car, all that good stuff. But yeah, as you can see, it's got the dual panel sunroof that, you know, you have to push twice to open. And all that good stuff, including, you know, Navi, eight-speed transmission, paddle sheath doors, spark mode, and all that good jazz. And it only had 70K on it. I've had this car for 4,000 miles, actually 3,800 miles, and it got hitsky. Oh, it also has the beat, so you can't see, but it's got the beat system in it, so it's got the uh, the base, the base to make the ace go whoop, and that's a pimple, won't heal. So yeah, that's about it. If you made it this far and you just heard me talk about a pimple, it is what it is, man. It's a Thursday video. It's a one take video. It is what it is video. Uh, also, I killed a computer that I was working on, so that put me out almost $300, and uh, yeah, all that other fun stuff. Oh, yeah, and I also found out that I paid $1,000 more for the car because they put gap insurance on it without telling me, which may come in handy if their insurance company isn't going to fully pay for the repairs to the car, or if they total it. Either way, I'm going to cancel that if it doesn't total the car. I've, uh... New text message from 20106 insurance company texting me while I'm filming. But yeah, I'm just waiting for them to call me back to tell me I can get it inspected and looked at and get it repaired and replaced or whatever needs to happen. So, yeah, bummer. If they don't replace it or if they just do the repairs, I'll document all that crap and show you guys how fun it is to wait for a car to get fixed. And I'll do a review on whatever rental car they give me. So, look forward to that. It's been a while since I reviewed any cars. Now that I don't have the wound vac on my leg anymore, the <laughs> noise or the noise either way uh, I can do more videos so I'll look forward to that and also got to start working on the truck soon we're gonna be tearing that thing apart and uh, hopefully hopefully uh, that'll go smoothly because everything does and yeah I'm out of here so like always I'll talk to you later